Hey, it's Pete. I'm reporting back on Roger's Cheap Old Book Club uh, that I have been reading now for two months. I read Of One Blood last month, February, uh, which I made a little... Did I make a video on that? I made... Oh, I made a short on it just, just that I had found it. It was, it was a good read. It's uh, kind of science fictional, very interesting uh, book of its time. Anyway, I read that a while ago. I don't, I don't have much to say about it. I just finished the 39 steps. Um, Steve Donahue was right. You cannot put that book down. I had watched, of course, the original video from Michael K. Vaughn about the book club and noticed I had the book around, so I planned to read it. And Steve uh, Donahue read it and said he defied anybody to put it down. And the other night, by the time this is going up, it'll be the other night. I, it was about 9 o'clock, and I opened it up, and I thought, oh, we'll see about this. And he was right. I couldn't put it down. I read it straight through. It's a very thrilling book. I, I remarked on the introduction, um, at least of the Gutenberg Project version that I read, which was uh, Buchan dedicating the book to a friend or, or at least writing to a friend and saying that, you know, he loved this kind of cheap thriller, you know, excitement. I forget what the genre they called it, excitement books or sensation novels, maybe they were called. And he ran out of them to read, so he wrote one. And it really shows that he loved the genre. And, 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 it's, and as other, as Steve said, and I'm sure other people say, it's, you know, it's a ridiculous plot full of coincidences. Buckham is very upfront about that. And as part of the fun of it, it reminded me of some of the very early Agatha, Agatha Christie's when she wasn't just writing whodunits, but she was also writing suspense books like the first Tommy and Tuppence book and uh, one on a cruise ship, I think, The Man in the Brown Suit. It was better than those, and I and those were okay. Those are not her best works, in my opinion. I'm going to talk about Agatha Christie at some other time because I really love her books, and there's a few of them that I especially love. Um, but those are fun. But this is really the top of the of the genre, you know. And I call it. It's the kind of book I've always liked. Call I call it just a guy books. It's just just some guy. <laughs> it's just some guy, and stuff starts happening to him. Uh, I like those kind of books. They're not as common anymore. It seems like the, the hero of a thriller has to be some kind of expert now. You know, he has to be ex CIA. He has to have this backstory, and I suppose that's why thrillers today and crime books today are 450 pages instead of 200 pages because you've got this whole backstory, this whole history of this character. You know, everybody's an ex-cop who's an ex-alcoholic with an ex-wife who hates him and an ex-daughter who won't talk to him. And then he has some crime to solve and then he works out all his personal problems to a degree, not completely because he, there's still got to be 25 more books about the same character. So. I really enjoy this this other simpler way of doing things. Many many times I, I read these kind of books and wish that we could go back to that, and uh, wish it was more popular now. That we didn't have to know every single thing in the soap opera of uh, some character. It's always the same thing. It's always a homicide cop who's divorced, who has a daughter who won't speak to him. Always, um, you know, th this guy in this bucket novel. He's just kind of a cocky jerk, uh, cocky. Well, you'll watch the other videos. I'll link to that, and they talk more about the plot. I don't need to belabor it. I just want to do a quick video today, let you know that I've started on my hundred book journey, my hundred uh, book journey, and and knocked off one of my other challenges for the month. So now I've got to get going on No Place Like Rome and the Fall of the Roman Empire. What else is I going to say about 39 Steps and all my other ranting stuff? Definitely pick it up if you like a fast read. If you like action stories, if you like um, spy thrillers, it's not really a spy thriller, but if you like wrong man kind of stories, you know, the wrong person, wrong place, wrong time kind of stories, 
which was so much fun. It was such a staple of Hollywood and of publishing for so many years. Just a poor guy gets into trouble and gets himself out of it. Just like these supremely competent heroes of the past um, who are always fun to spend time with. I've, I've heard that the other books about the same character by Buchan are, are not any good, and I'm probably not going to find out for myself, probably not going to pursue that. But if you like The Man in the Brown Suit, if you like Tommy and Tuppence, especially the first novel, which is where this young woman named Tuppence and meets this young fellow named Tommy, um, who's just back from World War One, and it's a time in in European history, British history, where the you know, economy was not doing well. There was all these young men back from the war, just on the street, needing needing jobs, needing work, and. Tuppence is this young woman who's very imaginative, very enthusiastic, and decides they should become, essentially decides they should become spies, you know, and then somebody happens to overhear them and says, oh, you guys want to be spies? Okay, here's a, here's a, here's a job you could do. You go, go to Germany and be spies for me. Um, you know, that kind of uh, just, just fun adventure, just jumping off into an adventure kind of thing, I think probably you're not going to do any better than the 39 steps. And that's what I have to say. Okay, book two, we'll, 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 we will, if I can talk now, if I can get this out of my mouth, I would like to just say, we will talk again. <laughs>